Sunday morning. Sunday morning shame. I publicly support Mary Miller for mayor in Baltimore 2020. I support Mary Miller because she's not part of the machine that I know about. She might have her ties here and her ties there, but to dismantle the master's house, you got to use the master's tools. The enemy of my enemy going to be my friend. Mary Miller is an outsider in Baltimore politics. She does work in Baltimore, but she doesn't do politics in Baltimore. Now, everything that I'm getting ready to tell you, I told Ricky Vine over a year, almost two years ago, when Ricky Vine started running for office. He came into my house. I showed him the corruption. I named the politicians. I introduced him to Tawanda Jones. I introduced him to PFK Boom. I gave Ricky Vine his introductions. And Theroux was using Ricky Vine for black votes in Baltimore. Theroux won't get through if he can't get black votes. Theroux is a, 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 a Republican with a Democratic ticket. So I'm giving all this, like I said, to Mary Miller because I'm going to expose Baltimore's Democratic Party and their politics. This also going to go to President Trump. Because like I said, I was making a movie called Baltimore Rewired. It's all about the Democratic Party. I got 13 movies, 13 different movies. You can go online and see clips of letters designed by Rob Fix. Yeah. The only way to beat you is to shoot you. And I'm going to shoot you with a camera. Click, aim, and shoot. Copy, paste, and send. I'm not looking for friends. I'm looking for change. <laughs> Y'all going to TV binge? We're going to TV binge about the Baltimore. We're going to talk about the money that they make off of opioids. We're going to talk about the money that we're going to talk about the money behind the machine. <clears throat> Since Mary Miller says that she knows President Obama, this is President Obama. If Mary Miller knows President Obama, she knows Kerry Cogwell. That's his constituent services. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. All right. A whistleblower on the war on drugs. That's the Chicago District Office. I was incarcerated in 2008. 2007 all right I was making a movie about the war on drugs and that's Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court if you go to Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court he has a storyboard you got a storyboard just like that storyboard all right and that was in 2013 13 yeah it's making a movie about the Democratic Party. <clears throat> I was making a movie about the Democratic Party. The 13th Amendment. And it happened in September, on the 13th of September. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, a 1999 Chevy Suburban. All right. That's the body attachment by the courts. I said that blacks have no rights in which white America respects. This is a body attachment. And the state of Maryland stole property from me, accepted forged checks, and participated in fraud. I am Dred Scott. That's what the toilet represents. It represents public accommodations. It represents our government and how our government treats us. So I treat you the same way you treat me. You can go to Governor Hogan and Brian Frost. Those are originals, all right? Brian Frost, Governor Hogan. Sincerely submitted YouTube DVD recording. Talking about Dred Scott. And Mary Miller was talking about black peoples and disenfranchisements in the black community. Well, you heard Bob Cocky talk about education over incarceration. Well, the De Democratic Party in Maryland, the Democratic Party, the Black Caucus, the Baltimore City and Baltimore County, they want to keep slavery alive. They want to sleep, keep segregation going. They want to keep incarceration at the top of the list. All you got to do is go get FedEx 2017, Didi Shortman. Civil justice regarding your legal material, civil 
All right. This is where this all at. <clears throat> See the date of that check? That's 325-2008. I was locked up in the state of Illinois. That's Shorty's Underground. Shorty's Underground Ribs. I didn't sign that check, but I own that store. That's not my signature. That's Bank of America. All right? Social Security number. All right? This was forgery and... Income tax evasion. Like I said, I was locked up in another state. Y'all just let Blagojevich go? Well, Blagojevich got this information too. The office of the governor. That's exhibit two. Here's an exhibit for you too. For 2012, original message. All right. That's James Moses from the Baltimore City Police Department. All right. We got all this. You see who it went to? This is the original message from 2009. I resent you the message. Richard McFeely, the FBI, and his supervisor, Mr. McDougan, been blocking the investigation, getting ready for my trial, a grand jury. You see that? Internal Affairs, Baltimore City Police Department, Councilman Branch, Shorty Program. All right, you see this? Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. You see this? Movie releases, Towson Courthouse. These are movie releases. That's Rob Fix. These are movie releases, Shorty Documentary. It's making a movie about your government. That's Hazel Norman. She's in the movie. Yeah. These are movie releases. I was making a movie about the government and I used the toilet as my, I used the toilet for my prop for the movie. These are movie releases. Pretty documentary. These are movie releases. Shorty documentary. This is Craig Taylor. See the date? 2007. I've been shooting this movie for a long time. Shorty's documentary. Shorty's documentary. All right. Right here. Shorty, you need a civil rights lawyer. All right. That's Pastor Heath. He used to be Governor O'Malley's uh, liaison and when Governor O'Malley was Mayor O'Malley. You see the date? 2008. Senator James Moses, state senator in Chicago. Contact the Justice Project. Give the DV to C4 WBAL radio. I gave it radio. Contact Billy Murphy, Dwight Pettit. I gave it to Billy Murphy and Dwight Pettit. You see this? 2008. Long before I got locked up. I was showing about the politics here in Maryland, the play to play and how they spend money on the, on the war on drugs. Mary Miller running for mayor and she said that she want to end this. Well, she got to address the war on drugs. You seen that I contacted Billy Murphy back in 2008. I contacted Warren Brown, Dwight Pettit, J. Wendell Gordon, Ivan Bates, Garcia Law Firms. Nobody want to touch this case. I'm sending all this to President Trump. And I got it put in a little package because President Trump is coming to town. <clears throat> and I'm going to give him Baltimore rewired. And this is what I'm going to give him. We're going to level up in 2020. Revenge is a this best served cold. It don't get no colder than this. This 20, this 10, this 11 years later. Later, because y'all locked me up in 2011. I gave y'all this information in 2010. Yeah. Mayor Pugh had it. Senator Pugh had it. The Maryland Black Caucus had it. Hassan Giordano had it. Nick Mosby had it. Marilyn Mosby had it. Brandon Scott had it. This is about breaking down the Democratic Party. 
And y'all talking about Joe Biden? I ain't worried about Joe Biden. I'm worried about these Democrats right here. So I'm going to send it to President Trump so he can get Biden and the rest of y'all. So here we go. It's Kwasi and Fuma. He signed off in the 1986 Bill Clinton crime bill. Now he's running this. He's sitting in Congressman Cummings' seat. I blew the whistle. 1986, I turned in, I turned in people in 86. State Illinois, Davis, N 62528. I'm a whistleblower. Videotapes. This is going to President Trump. Dear President Trump, I'm a whistleblower exposing the corruption in Maryland's Democratic Party. Senator Van Hollen, Senator Cardins, Kwasi Mfumi, Delegate Brooks, Delegate Grapp. Yeah, I'm sending this to President Trump. Police arrest a man in Towson Toilet. Y'all lock me up for a toilet, I'm bringing the toilet back. Because we're going to level up in 2020. I did this in 2019. <clears throat> it's about the prison industry and mass incarceration. All right. Like I say, revenge is the this best served code. Y'all locked me up because I applied for Martin Luther King's job. That job been vacant for over 50 years. Nobody wanted. The war on drugs is an illegal war in the black community, and Martin Luther King wouldn't accept it. I gave you Malcolm X in 1986. I gave you Martin Luther King in 2011. 2020, I'm going to give you Thurgood Marshall and Marcus Garvey. Now that's the Baltimore Sun, Justin Fenton. He had this too. So did Mr. Lowry. I gave it to him on the same day. All right. We're doing mail receipts. It's my whistleblower's application. my whistleblower's application on the Democratic Party. It's my whistleblower's application on the Democratic Party. The name's 52 politicians. Jane Miller's included. You got members of the media that's included in it. So I'm going to send this to President Trump and also the FCC. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna root out fake news. See that? That's Adrian Jones, whistleblower's application. See the date? 13th of November, 2019. All right? And filmed it. Grand jury, last session. Scott Schellenberger, Chief Johnson, Judge Turnbull. Yeah. And like I said, President Trump, come to Baltimore, because I was making a movie about Baltimore. President Trump, come to Baltimore. You go to Chief Justice Roberts and get other parts of the movie. Judge Bennett in federal court. Governor Hogan. Brian Frost. Judge Cox. Mayor Jack Young got this, but I ain't got no dirt on Jack Young. But I got dirt on Baltimore City Council President Brandon Scott. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. Chief Hyatt has evidence against Scott Schellenberger. David Kamenuch has evidence. Senator Bill Ferguson has evidence. The Inspector General is going to get it. I want to testify in front of the House Judiciary because I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower in the Democratic Party in the state of Maryland. And Sam Cunningham, Mary Cunningham, Baltimore County, Baltimore City delegation, the city council and the county council. I'm going to show you how y'all pay to play these politics. Corey McRae, Sid Nor. Delegate Smith, Clippinger, if anything that I say is a lie, take me in front of the grand jury because I'm giving all this to Mary Miller. Sheila Dixon know about this. Everybody know about this, but the media don't want to show this. So I'm going to make sure that the world get to see this. I'm building a toilet. You're going to TV binge. Congress is guilty. We're going to show the money behind the machine. <clears throat> And this toilet is about the war on drugs. Mass incarceration and the war on drugs, especially black communities. All right. This is what Mary Miller was talking about. And that's the public justice center. It's 
So we're going to talk about the politicians. And we're going to talk about this toilet. Because this is going to be ready by Monday. Baltimore going to get a Pulitzer Prize for this one. Like I said, everything in the box is going to the president. It's about Baltimore rewired. Y'all made us famous for the wire? I'm going to show you the money that you make off of mass incarceration. That's my booking card. We're going to show you DeSouza. We're going to show you Oates. We're going to show you Brooks. We're going to show you Congressman Cummings' legacy. Because I've been doing... I've been watching Congressman Cummings and bird dog and congressman coming since 1997. I'm going to talk about Sitnor. I'm going to talk about our delegations. Because Kwasi and Fumi got to take care of this. I'm a whistleblower. I'm parole and probation. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. And WJZ got everything. You can't hide behind the shielding law. It ain't going to work. We're talking about how much inmates make. And we're talking about criminal cases. Do blacks have rights in which white people respect? President Bo Obama, President Trump, Mr. Brooks. This was about our Maryland caucus. This was about Bobby Zirkin. Like I said, I got the supporters, the shorties. We're talking about leaders of a beautiful struggle. The 2018 legislative report card. Mm. Anything you do in the dark always comes out in the light. <clears throat> Everything that I'm telling you, Al Repmer, before he retired from the insurance commission, had this. Got a transcript in his office with my testimony. So does Governor Hogan. It's the criminalization of poverty. So President Trump and President Obama, this is a joint, a joint thing. Because there it is right there. Your prison industry, inmate, P.O. box. I was locked up. I couldn't assign them checks. Nathaniel Oates. This is my movie release, To Whom It May Concern. The movie was about the Maryland Black Caucus. The movie was about our policies. The movie was about the narrative life of Frederick Douglass being black in America. The movie was about the FBI in Baltimore and Chicago. It was about your prison industry, Mr. O'Neill. The Underground Railroad. The narrative life of Frederick Douglass, Underground Railroad. That's Judge Turnbull. Public accommodations, accessing the courts. That's Rikers Island. That's Baltimore County Detention Center. And that's the Baltimore Sun. That's your Pulitzer Prize.